it's down to genetics to a part, but then the rest of who we are is the experiences we've been through. That's not everything about who we are. I think the ones that define us are the ones that help us grow. Yes and no, that my memories define me. We all know the brain is important. It's where our consciousness comes from, our memories, our entire sense of self. What we don't realize is how the importance we put on the brain may shape the way we look at the elderly. As more and more Canadians face down dementia and Alzheimer's, it's worth asking, is there a way to separate our sense of self from the brain? Chinese philosophy thinks so. The idea that self is inextricably linked to the brain has deep roots in Western thought. And as advances have been made in fields like neuroscience, the importance of the brain has only grown. In the West, we put a lot of stock on cognition and intelligence. So the assumption is when you've got dementia and the, the brain goes, that the person is gone. This is Dr. Nina L. Chappell, gerontologist and professor emeritus at the University of Victoria. Dr. Chappell has spent years looking at the cultural distinctions of Chinese elder care. One concept that has stuck out to her is the Chinese emphasis on the heart in relation to one's mind. In a traditional Chinese culture, there are two selves, and one is the cognitive self, or the brain, the intellectual, and the other is the emotional, the heart, the feeling, and they are equal in the self. This belief has its roots in Confucian philosophy, a guiding framework that has shaped Chinese culture for centuries. Confucius taught that true knowledge lies not only in the mind, but in the heart. This idea runs deep in Chinese culture. In fact, the Chinese word xin literally means heart, but is often used to mean mind, indicating the important role of the heart in cognition. This lasting belief makes it so that to the Chinese, a person remains himself so long as they can express emotion. In China, someone has dementia, the heart is still there, the feeling is still there, they can still relate emotionally. This perspective may equip Chinese families to have a more inclusive view of their elders as their cognition declines. If the parent has dementia and say there's a family gathering, they would of course take mother to the gathering because mother is still very much there. New therapies that emphasize the importance of touch and feeling are becoming common in dementia care, as too are approaches that urge caregivers and healthcare professionals to think with their emotions first. We still tend to look at people's physical exterior and judge them on that, whereas the inside, the wisdom and the heart continue to grow. The heart, the emotion, the feeling part of us uh, is the important important part of self. So when you get dementia, self is still very much there. There's no doubt that our brains are an important part of ourselves, yet there's so much more to us. As we move forward towards a more equitable and inclusive world of caregiving, perhaps the key is spending a little less time on the mind and a little more on the heart. <laughs>